Breaking news right now. Just minutes ago, the Army Corps of Engineers blasted a hole in a Missouri levee to save an Illinois town from the rising Mississippi and Ohio rivers. Fox 2's Chris Renier is live on the flood watch with the new details and the controversy. Chris. Sandy, you're right. There was just a couple of minutes ago when this happened, there were a series of 11 explosions behind me here at the Birds Point levee. Take a look at some video. We are just trying to turn around for you from when this happened just a couple of minutes ago here. There were about a ton of explosives being used in this explosion, the blast taking place. There you hear it out in the levee there, this explosion bursting this hole in the levee. Let me tell you, there are already floodwaters everywhere in this area. And now that that blast has gone off, some 300 homes and 130,000 acres of Missouri farmland will go underwater in about 24 to 36 hours. Well, the blast is bad news for this Missouri area. It's good news for the town of Cairo, Illinois. Authorities say the explosion and resulting flood could save Cairo from massive floodwaters in Cairo. They spent today sandbagging and trying to fix sand boils. That's areas where the water has gone under the levee and is actually shooting up from the ground. While in Cairo today, Illinois Governor Pat Quinn called breaching the levee here critical for saving Cairo and other towns. Missouri farmers whose land will be flooded are trying to deal with it the best they can. This is inevitable. It's going to happen. I don't think they want to do it, but it's, it's their job. And they have to do it. We have to make the best of it and wait for the sun to shine again. All of the men and women that, uh, that I've talked to, whether they're bus drivers or, or they're soldiers or they're policemen, uh, boat operators, uh, nobody has seen uh, this type of water in, uh, in, in the system. This is an unprecedented, uh, unprecedented flood. And here are some pictures that the Corps took of the crews getting ready to put the explosives into the levee earlier today. After this first round of explosions, there will be two more stats, one early tomorrow morning, another later tomorrow morning. Those will allow the floodwaters that are going to accumulate here in the Missouri area to flow back into the Mississippi. Let me tell you, we all waited a while for these explosions tonight, and they certainly didn't uh, let us down. There were just huge booms, thundering booms behind us here in the levee to start this bursting hole, which will then flood this area, saving the towns downstream, dropping the crest there by several feet. Live near Cairo, Chris Renier, Fox 2 News.